In this video, we will be building a mini TV using an ESP32 on a breadboard. I will then show you how to upload the videos using FFmpeg and flashing it using Arduino. Let's get started. Uh, just a high overview, we have an ESP32, a TFT screen, we have a amplifier breakout board, this is a micro SD card reader. And that's basically what we're going to do in this video. And then maybe in another video, if there's enough interest, we could actually make this custom PCB board. And there's some design changes I would do for the, a new one, but we have a speaker back here as well as a charge controller. We have a battery and an on and off switch here, as well as some buttons here and an LED light. So let's uh, jump into it. So this video is inspired by this maker. I don't know how to say his name, but I'll leave a link below to this Instructables. Definitely go check that out. I'll leave the links below to these main parts I bought off of Amazon, but you can also find them off AliExpress, and I'm sure there's a lot of other websites with them. So when it comes in ESB32, I'm using just the dev kit. Um, there's lots of different ones you can use. One of the most important things is just make sure you have your pinout ready to go. So I'll have that up on one screen, as well as I have a simple schematic I put together just so you can follow along. We're not gonna be using all of these IO pins because I have that for the buttons and a few other things that we're not gonna use in this video. But if we do a PCB, we'll definitely use those. So first things first, let's go ahead and put on this micro SD card reader. I'm gonna go ahead and put my 3.3 volt to my positive here and my negative ground to my ground. Then we'll do our 3.3 volt. We'll put that to our 3.3 over here on the side. Next, we will do our MISO pin right here. And we will connect that to IO4, which is right here. And then next, we will do our clock. And that will go to pin 14. Then Mosey pin will go to pin 15. Then CS will go to pin 13. Hope I notice I put this one off. All right, that looks good. Let's go ahead and do our screen next. First, we'll go ahead and get our VCC. We'll connect that to positive. And then we will ground. Then we'll do our SCL to pin 18. SDA to pin 23. RES to 33. DC to pin 27. Then we'll do our CS to IO5. Okay, I just noticed I had one of my pins off, so make sure you're double checking as you go along. So let's now put on our amplifier. I'll connect the positive to my 3.3, ground to ground. Now we're not gonna use the SD and the gain pins in this, this one, but next we will use the DIN pin into IO32. Now we'll put B clock into IO25. Last, we will put our LRC into IO26. That's the basic setup. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just put a wire in here for my speaker. All right, that looks ready to go. Let's go ahead and jump on the computer to get the firmware flashed. If you go to my GitHub with the link below, you'll be able to see this project. You can download it from there or you can download it from that Instructables. I'm not gonna go through all of this code. So if you're new to Arduino and ESP32s, you will have to add the ESP32 right here. There's a JSON. I can leave this in the link below. You'll need to paste that JSON here so then we can pull the boards. Then up here, plug in your board. You should be able to select the port that you want as well as the board. For me, I am running the dev module. And if you see here, there are lots of different boards. And they really, they all, for the most part, should all work just fine, so long as you have your pins in right. Um, and then we will go ahead and install the libraries. For the first one, we want the GFX. 
Adafruit GFX. Well, let's go ahead and install this one right here by Adafruit. Next one we'll need is the JPEG DEC library by Larry Bank. We'll need this one. This will be the last library we need, which is the Arduino Lib Helix. You can click code. Let's download a zip. And then once that finishes, we can come up here. We'll hit sketch, include library, add from zip. Go to our downloads and go ahead and import and open that library. All right, we should be good. I believe these ones come with the ESP32 setup library, so we should be good there. Now we'll come back to this in a second. We're gonna go ahead and get a video uploaded to our SD card. So get your micro SD card and go ahead and plug that into your computer. And go to this website, ffmpeg.org. With this software, we'll be able to convert our video and audio separately for our ESP32 to read. Go ahead and download this based on your system. I'm actually running Parallels on my Mac and I'm familiar with the Windows, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that one right now. Let's go ahead and open Command Prompt. It's really important that wherever this folder is, is where you run your code. So in this case, I'm on my desktop, so I'm gonna CD into my desktop. And from here, I will run the command. Let's see here, right here. So this is for my office version of it. I'll go ahead and paste that here. I'm going to change the name. So this is the output name. And I have one called Nacho from Nacho Libre. And then right here, this is what file I'm picking. And again, it's in the same it's on my desktop as well, so I can just do nacho.m4v and hit enter. So right now what it's going to do is put together a MPEG file of just the video. So now we need to do the audio separately. So that's finished now. So let's go over here, I'm going to copy the version for the audio. And I'll paste that and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to call it Nacho here. And then right here it's saying what's the source? Nacho.m4v. I should, should be pretty quick. Okay, that's finished. So now we have two files. We should have our audio and our MPEG. So let's go ahead and upload both of these to our SD card. One thing I will say about the SD card is it needs to be in FAT32 format. It's a little bit of an outdated format and it can be a little hard to find because most uh, computers will recommend XFAT. So I had to find some formatter. It's a little janky. I don't know that I totally recommend it, but FAT32 formatter, I use this one to flash my drive to be a FAT32. So now I can go ahead and drag and drop both of those files onto my SD card. Going back over to our code, I can go ahead and change this now. So this is our AC, which is our audio, to Nacho. And right here, we will also change this to Nacho. Now we should be good to go ahead and upload that to our device and eject the micro SD. Back in Arduino, we'll double check that our board is selected and then we'll click upload and we should be good. All right, there we go. Fun little project. Couple of little pointers. If you have any issues, be sure to check your wiring. Make sure that looks really good. And sometimes I find that these wires actually, especially when you get this many going, they can actually short out fairly easy over time and quit working. And also, if you have a cheaper breadboard, that can, that can also cause some issues. Also, if you're interested, let me know and we can make a custom PCB board like this that will hold it. And we can actually design it a little bit better. After I made this first one, I found some other things that I could improve on. Alright, there you go. Hope you liked it. And go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe for more projects like this.